Welcome in to the 901 with the all-star break in the rearview mirror. The Grizzlies turn their attention to the remaining 25 games left in the regular season starting tomorrow in Philly. Today, the Grizzlies return to FedEx Forum preparing for their seven week sprint before the playoffs begin. Steven Adams was a non contact participant in practice today. Taylor Jenkins said he's making progress coming off that knee sprain. Had a good, you know, sessions over the all-star break. He was doing a lot of stuff, you know, rehabbing, um, but he's training in a good direction. Before the break, I think he was doing like kind of one-on-o workouts, um, had a vitamin today, and then started doing a little bit in practice. But uh, we'll, we'll have more of a time update probably at the end of the week. The Grizzlies coming in relatively healthy ahead of tomorrow's game. Adams remains out as we await that timeline update. Luke Kennard also out with a non-COVID illness. Well, the highlight of the All-Star break had to be Mount 12 ski, the pop-up shop created by Nike for Jaws signature shoe release. But now that everyone's done in Utah, I wondered what happens to that thing? Ja had an idea. Where's Mount 12 ski going now? Is that going in the backyard or? Nah, we about to put it on top of the farm. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm good with that. Anyone opposed? Memphis women's basketball is on the cusp of their first postseason berth in seven years, but they have to keep winning to get there. Tigers hosting the sub 500 Cincinnati tonight. Memphis's all time three point shooter Madison Griggs wasted no time firing from deep. She finished with 12 points. Imani Jefferson added 14 as the Tigers get the win 64 to 53 with your 901. I'm Clayton Collier.